We now find ourselves at a massive crossroad in the in the club, Arsenal Football Club, the club that I played for from a boy uh, all the way through to a man. And, and you stand back and you watch and you wonder, the Gron Gronke family now, what what's their ambition? They came into this football club and progressively bought shares in the football club from 2007 onwards, a small holding and made till they got 100% ownership. And I haven't really seen any real of their, any money of their own go into the football club. Now, Josh Gronke is saying that they're going to invest now. And we really do need investment because for the first time in a really long time, Europe looks almost impossible unless they win the Europa League. The club now is in a really difficult position, needs investment more than ever before. It's either time to sell it. They, they've basically paid out about a billion pounds in shares, but the club's worth two billion pounds in shares. So it's not. it's been about investment, about investing in assets and the football club, but they put no money in of their own. And the club's crying out for that investment now. The managers are let really at top... 10 or 11 players go from the football club this season. Mm. So we're at a crossroads. Uh, and the, I can see why the fans won't change. And in all honesty, unless there's money put on the table and we see, you know, uh, the colour of that money, then I think it, they should step aside and let somebody else take charge of this once great club. So this morning you're calling for, for Kroenke and his son the, and the present ownership, step aside, if let they, somebody else own it. If they don't want to spend money now when the club needs it most of all, then they need to step aside. Uh, it's a wonderful club. Uh, they talk about culture. Um, they, they, they don't seem to have picked any of that up. They don't. They don't seem to understand the values of the English game, how much we love it, the history, and the core values of Arsenal Football Club. Have they sat around those board members and other people who apparently have that those beliefs, um, and basically sat there? Well, did they see us as fools? We're just fools in the in the group. That's people that we. They go off and do this behind our backs. I mean, I can only imagine what it must be like working at the club as an employee and you find out overnight that they, they're trying to take the club away, really. As soon as there's a hint of financial difficulty <clears throat> with the pandemic, they run off with the family silver to form a European league without any consultation with the fans and they're the people that they, they, they have to speak to most of all. So now there's an opportunity for the fans to voice their opinion um, and it's going to be a difficult time in history. I, I don't want it to be out of hand, you know, that make their point. Uh, in a controlled manner, the supporters they have that right. Uh, but now I think we need to be looking at really what do they want the Gronke family. They have got tremendous wealth. They're, they're, he's, if you look at Stan Gronke and what he's done, he puts money in, doesn't he? He wants to buy assets. He wants to have ownership of football clubs. But does he really want to put his own money in? Now the times are changing. He's going to have to do that. Yes, it could be part of a new beginning for Arsenal where they see that money coming in. If they don't want to make major investment at this point, then it's time to go. We want to see that the, where put their mo money where their mouth is now. Let's see it, Josh. Put the money in and let's see if the club can be successful.